Hello everybody, how's everyone doing? Now today we're going to be talking about how to play Battlefield. Now every Battlefield is fundamentally different, but they're all the same. If you learn how to play one Battlefield, you can play them all. But there's little tweaks here and there uh, when the, each, that makes each Battlefield uh, a little different. But if you learn how to play it, how it's intended to be played, then you should do fairly well. Now, the very first thing that you're going to want to do, especially if you're a new player, is level up your classes. And that entails figuring out the class that you want to use. Now, the best class to start off with would be the medic class. You, know, you get your health kit, you get your revive, you can heal yourself, heal, heal your teammates, which gives you points. Uh, and you need those points to level up and get all the things that come with each class, silencers, you know, grenades, different types of grenades, you know, you name it. Second class would be the assault class or the ammo guy. Uh, now, again, you drop ammo for your teammates, give yourself ammo, you know, you can replenish your grenades, all that good stuff. Third class would be the engineer. Uh, especially if you want to be in a tank the whole time or just drive around and make sure your uh, vehicle doesn't blow up. If you want to be uh, in a chopper and uh, you can land your chopper, repair it if that's what you want to do as an engineer. Uh, and then there's the snipers and the sniper boys. Of course that is the most difficult class to learn and master. Um, but still very doable, you just have to learn uh, how you're supposed to play Battlefield. And the Sniper, of course, has bullet drop, so there's that that you have to keep in mind. But the Medic class, definitely the best class to start off with, level up, make sure you, you get all the things that you want, like a silencer for your gun. That way you're not on the minimap the whole time. The minimap is definitely a key thing to play in Battlefield that you have to look at. Alright here, this was perfect. I threw a grenade in there. Uh, two guys in an elevator that should have died. I was so upset. But it is what it is. And then the other thing besides your classes is uh, playing Conquest is probably the game mode that you're going to be playing. You know, they had Rush and Bad Company 2. Unfortunately, it fell off. Um, they tried to bring it back, but Battlefield 1 was like Operations, and Battlefield 5, Grand Operations, or I can't remember if that's correct or not, but I played Battlefield 5 at least. Then they went back to playing Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4. But yeah, uh, playing Conquest, you have to figure out if you're going to defend a flag or attack it. Attacking is probably the most fun. Um, you know, a little bit of run and gun, but you have to know the angles that people are going to be in, uh, what camping spots they're going to be in, because that's, you know, a factor. And then, if you're defending, I found myself defending a lot more as I've gotten older, you know, I'm just getting old and lazy, don't want to run anymore. So... Oh, and this right here, what happened is this guy led me to his team. He knew somebody was shooting at him, so he went to his team, and I fell for the trap. So, if you want to defend, you know, some people might see it as camping, but what I like to do is I run around the flag that I'm trying to defend, making sure that nobody is in the area, nobody's attempting to come in the area, but once I feel that it's safe, I might move on to attacking the flag that's close by, or decide to pick up a vehicle and go to one that's far away. Now this right here, pro game we move on to the name, whatever his name is, 
decided to just leave this tank, put C4 on it, wait for somebody to get into it, which I fell for, so, you know, kudos to him. And this was the start of a, a new match. The whole match is going to be in this video, it's part one, and another video is part two, so you kind of get to see what a whole battlefield match is like. I tried to not do too much editing so that you can see what you have to do, you know, you have to start off, you have to get to the flags, capture them, and then get to the flags that you want to attack and take hold of. A lot of people don't like playing Conquest because there's a lot to learn. There's a, it's, uh, you have to learn all these things like where are people going to be hiding? Like what, what are the best spots for me to find people so that I'm not bored all the time? Otherwise it's just going to be running uh, back and forth from each flag and not finding anybody. That's because you're, you're going to the flags that already have had the action and you know those enemy uh, team members end up going to other flags and that's not uh, ends up happening sometimes, maybe in Battlefield 6 with the 120 player count, we'll see less of that, but you know, here you kind of go into a little bit of a uh, decide to get out of that since it, I don't know if it's getting mortared or what, that's crazy, look at that. Free tank, tank kill right there, and we'll see a hilarious road kill coming up. Oh, nope, not that one. It's the next one. But, yeah, so deciding whether to attack a flag or stay there and defend it is very crucial to the amount of fun that you might have. You know, uh, you're either letting people come to you or you're going to the people that you want to kill. Very simple and straightforward, of course, but that's how you play Battlefield. You know, there's going to be choppers shooting at you, tanks taking shots at you, all kinds of things. There's going to be people hiding above you, hiding below you sometimes, depending on the map. You're just going to have to get used to these maps. And these are very well designed maps. Some of them are from old maps from like Battlefield 2. There's a lot of Battlefield 3 maps in here, you know, which is great. I, I love playing on maps that I already know. Uh, less brain power to try to figure things out. It's a little more automatic. Sometimes you'll see me just sort of stop, sort of in place. Of course, I try to get in uh, cover, but you'll see me do that, sort of trying to assess the situation. I take a look at my mini map, see what's happening around me, see what's happening above me, things like that looking both ways before you cross the street. How I like to say it. Now, in Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, operations is what I like to play the most. Uh, it's less downtime. You make contact with the enemy a lot more, faster than you normally would in Conquest. It takes forever to find somebody sometimes. Or you just have to go to the right flags. There's a lot more action at certain flags than other flags. So you just have to figure that out by playing, essentially. Or you can watch my video, you know, see, look at what I do, see if it matches your gameplay style, or if it, you know, if it doesn't, you can do different things than I would do. It's all about outplaying the team. Um, right here, I was having trouble getting past B on foot, so I just decided to get a quad bike and make it all the way over to this flag that would take me ages to get to on foot. And the enemy is seeing a very awesome kill. I didn't, I wasn't even trying to get this kill right here and I just, you know, saw a guy, decided to swerve, and boom. There you go. So you get road kills with quad bikes. Third person is key to killing people while you're driving. Uh, trying to do it in first person, you miss probably 99.9% .9 of the time. So, uh, you know, third person gives you that bigger hitbox, but that's the end of this video. Uh, make sure to watch the second part to see the whole gameplay of it. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next one.